Hi, this is Joseph. Today is Thursday. It's October 20th. This is a uh, performance update. So it's been pretty choppy. Um, I'll go ahead and go to the one hour time frame. So this is a few of the trades that I've been looking for and some of the trades that I've executed with the uh, pound dollar, uh, pound yen, euro dollar. Uh, I am watching also the uh, dollar Canadian and then the Australian dollar. So for those of you who are wondering what currency pairs I trade, I'll show you in just a moment my charts for each one of them. Uh, there's a total of, I believe, eight, eight different currency pairs. So it's all the majors primarily. It's on the website and it's also in the members area. So when you sign up to use the trade copier, you'll see exactly which currency pairs I'm trading anyway. And if there's for any reason, if there's some of those currency pairs that you don't want executed in your platform, you can turn them off. There's a switch inside of the uh, social trader tools platform uh, with these side bar menu uh, on the left hand side and you can set up the trade copier to omit or to exclude certain uh, currency pairs the other thing that i want to remind you is that if you're going to use a trade copier please remember you have complete control over the lot size that's a really good thing you can change it you can increase it you can decrease it at any time you want so that's something to keep in mind um, before i move on though this is the uh, dashboard for the social trader tools i am going to be posting uh, performance updates of this particular account i've received many requests over the last uh, few weeks and few months about an update on the uh, trade copier performance uh, you know what does it look like so in the past when i was passing those evaluations if you look at some of the videos on the youtube channel i was using the the real account that they were sending me that whether it was lark or surge or uh, my forex funds whatever account that i got from them which is actually a demo account during the evaluation i was using that one and i connected it to the social trader tools trade copier so everybody would try to get a feel for what i was doing when i was passing those uh, evaluations now when i passed the evaluations I no longer trade that demo account. So then I had to switch everybody over. It was kind of, I just totally didn't think about it enough. You know, I had, I was kind of excited and a lot of people bought the trade copier. So we had to move them over to a different trade copier channel. It wasn't anything bad. It's just that I stopped using that particular uh, trading account because it was a demo account. And then when I passed the evaluation, they give me a live account. And then I added the live account to the social trader tools. So you know, a lot of people were asking, let me see the verification. Let me see your proof. But it was an old demo account anyway. So then I moved right on to the, de to the live account. So this account right here, what I'm trying to say is that th I set up this channel. So if you sign up, you're going to be linked to this particular channel. This is the channel that you want. I have several channels with uh, social trader tools, meaning different trade copier accounts. And very often I sell out. I reach the maximum that I can use on social trader tools. And then I have to start a brand new one. So I have to link it to another trading account. But this account will never turn off. This is not a Lark funded account. And it is not a surge trader account. This is account. This is an account that will just continue to trade. I, I will never stop trading it. So you'll always continue to see the growth over time. And you can highlight or select certain weeks, certain months, certain years if you want to over the course of time to see just what the performance was on a quarterly basis or during the holidays, whatever it is that you're interested in. Now, right now, this account is pretty close to hitting the 10% profit target. And again, keep in mind when you see this, it depends on what time you're, when you're watching this video, you may not see it the day that I put it out and post it on YouTube. You may be seeing it a week or two or even a month away from now, but realize that at, at some point, this one's gonna hit the 10% profit target. But this one isn't going to be turned off because this isn't connected to a funded challenge. But you're still getting the same trades. That's what I want you to know. You can still connect to this account and still get the exact same trades and copy them for all of the Forex trades that I execute. All of them. You're still going to get the same fill, the same performance, everything. Everything is executed exactly the same way. The only difference is that this account will not expire because it's not a demo account tied to an evaluation so that when I hit the evaluation, then I swap it out with the live account because I'm excited to trade the live account, right? I want to make money on it. So this will never happen with this particular account. However, I do have my other funded accounts connected to this account, which is great. That's exactly what you want. So this one will never expire. It will never stop. Again, realize that this one's going to hit the 10% profit target for a lot of them like uh, uh, Lark Funding, uh, Surge, for example, there's quite a few of them out there that just have a one stage evaluation and it's 10%. So that's the good news. Let's go back to the charts. Uh, now, again, my feeling here with the pound dollar lately is that until we actually clear this high and this low, 
Uh, this high right here is just for those of you who want to mark off your charts, you want to see exactly what I'm doing. That high is 1.40, I'm sorry, 14.39. And the low over here is uh, 1.1151. This is a one hour time frame. So this is a time frame that I primarily trade off of. Uh, I use a specific strategy called the continuation breakout trade. You can see one setting up right here. Um, it pays about 55 pips when I take the trade. So it's really good. The only thing is, is that the continuation breakout trade does not set up every single day. That's the difference with this. But I do have other strategies. Uh, I made a vid video yesterday. I posted that. That one was on the HL30. So the HL30, you may be familiar with it if you looked at some of the videos on my uh, YouTube channel. If you you know kind of go back in time, uh, maybe about a year or two ago, uh, you can see a lot of the videos about the HL30. So the HL30 is a bounce off of support from the previous day's high or low. That's, I'm not going to go, you know, turn this into a trading lesson, but that's the basic premise of what I'm doing with that HL30. It is a bounce after several retests of either a level of support or resistance. And then I'm looking for divergence uh, and I'm also using the volume indicator. So I showed that in the video from yesterday with the HL30, what that looked like. I believe there was one on the Euro dollar earlier in the week. And then there was uh, one with the pound dollar. And then you see this one had a, a, a HL30 on the pound dollar as well. That's what really developed all of this move here. And then it turned into a continuation breakout trade later. So I have different strategies, different techniques that I developed back in 2000 and 2001. This particular strategy is actually the first technique that I developed in late 2000, early 2001. And I've been using this strategy for 21 almost 22 years now. And it works 90 to 95 percent of the time. If everything lines up correctly, when I get the signal, it will hit a 55 pip target almost every single time. Now, there are some conditions. I warn everybody this again, this is not a trading lesson. So if you're looking at the Bollinger Bands, you're looking at the CCI, you're looking at the MACD, you want to copy it. That's OK. But understand that that's not all there is to it for the continuation breakout trade. There's a lot of details. Uh, you need to know what the background is, which is where is price? Where did it come from? Like, were we in a previous trend? You know, there are times when I see the continuation breakout trade set up. And if it sets up like in, a, in the middle of a range like this, then I won't execute. Very often, it's there's just not enough room. But if it comes off of a level of support or resistance, and there's this much room from the high to the low, because again, there has to be a very specific range of consolidation before I take a trade like that. It's got to be a specific high and low. So the distance from the high, the low of the consolidation has to be a specified range, a minimum. Because if it's any smaller, it will usually lead to a head fake. So there's a lot of little things. So please be careful. Um, you know, if you want to know a little bit more about it, I'll share some strategy and some technique behind it. But again, realize that there's, you really have to practice it. You have to understand it. I've been using it for like 21, 22 years now, and it works. It's a great strategy. I use it on all of the majors. So let me show you the other uh, uh, the other currency pairs that I trade. So on this page right here, I have the euro dollar, I have the pound yen, the euro yen, I have the dollar Swiss, <coughs> excuse me, and then I have the Australian dollar. Now, in addition to that, I'm also trading the dollar, the dollar yen and the dollar Canadian. Now, it's kind of interesting the way price has been moving. This is the Australian dollar. Uh, again, we can go all the way back over here to the beginning of this range of consolidation. That was on October 11th. And for the most part, for the most part, I, I know we have this dip right here with some economic data and we've had several tests of resistance, but I feel at least this is my point of view until we significantly clear this range, it's probably going to continue to be range bound. And I'm going to have to be really careful about some of these trades. So you've probably if you've traded, for example, the Australian dollar, you've probably seen it a bit choppy. So I had a continuation breakout trade signal today right here on this bar. And that's set up at 7 o'clock California time, which is 10 o'clock New York time. But again, it didn't give me the entry. I use a very specific entry. And then there was a little bit of confirmation, but some divergence here with the CCI. So there was no follow through. There was uh, This system helps me avoid head fakes because this is common. A lot of people will try to trade these breakouts of resistance or support. And very often they turn into head fakes. The same thing happened over here. And this was back on the 14th the 15th and the 16th, right? You can see that whole activity right there, that whole trading range. And so it broke down here to the downside. But again, there really wasn't enough room for me to trade it right into that support level. I stayed away from it. It didn't look right. I didn't get confirmation. And then it flipped around and went right back up the opposite direction and stayed right inside of this range of consolidation. So that's happened. And, you know, we've seen this consolidation for a while. This is for a very specific reason. But eventually, 
maybe Friday, maybe next week, it will break out of this range. And when it does, they all start to trend. You've probably seen it if you've been trading for a while. And then it affects most of Forex. So when I trade the continuation breakout trade, one of the really cool things about this particular strategy is that I use it on the pound yen. And when I get a good, clean continuation breakout trade out of a significant range of consolidation, it will pay 250 pips. I use a 55 pip stop loss. So you can see it's more than a one to one or a two to one risk to reward on that trade. So again, it's a 250 pip target. Uh, sometimes I will scale out at the first 150 pips and I'm not double counting. This is from the entry to the final target when I get a good clean continuation breakout trade. But right now, again, this is the one hour time frame on the pound yen and I really haven't had any this week. I mean, I've been waiting for them and I watch when it comes down here to support and, you know, sometimes with economic data, I'm waiting for it and then it'll turn around and you can see how they're really holding here at this level. So these are the levels that I'm looking at right now with the uh, pound yen. Now, sometimes I am forced to make some adjustments to the support and resistance. So this may not stay here, you know, if we get some activity uh, during the London session or during the New York session tomorrow, I might have to, if it doesn't break out, but it still tests or pushes these boundaries, this is for a very specific reason. Now, you may know, if you know anything about Wyckoff, a lot of these set up like accumulation or distribution. So distribution down, I'm sorry, accum accumulation down here at the lows, distribution up here at the highs, they have the same qualities. We have the buying climax, the automatic reaction, we have tests. Sometimes we get up thrusts that exceed the buying climax. And just the same thing with the lows. So if we're looking at accumulation, sometimes we get springs that break down below support or the selling climax, and then they move right back up. Now I do use volume to confirm almost all of my trades. You've probably seen that in some of my other videos. And then to find a good clean target, I'm also using point and figure. So I know it sounds like a real tedious process, but I've been using the system for a really long time and it's very easy, very, very reliable for me anyway, because I've been using it and uh, I, I love this stuff. I love like the, the whole accumulation distribution and Wyckoff principles. Uh, this is a system and a template that I, I, I can give it to you if you're interested in it. Um, uh, I can send it to you. I have a template for the MT4, and it is for the continuation breakout trade on the one-hour time frame. I don't use this continuation breakout trade strategy on any time frame smaller than a one-hour time frame. If I'm going to trade, let's say, a 15-minute or a 30-minute, then I'll use something like the Tech 1 trade, which is my second trading strategy that I developed many, many years ago, and then the HL30 that I talked about just a moment ago. And there are a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that talk about all of these strategies. So you can go back and you can see how profitable they are. Again, the continuation breakout trade, if I execute it on the pound yen, it will pay, on a good one, it will pay 250 points. Sometimes I'll scale out at the first 150 and it'll stall there and I can see that so I protect it, but that's a really good trade. I mean, 150 points on the pound yen, uh, yeah, the pound yen or 250 points, that's a great trade. And then on all of the other currency pairs, like some of the majors, like the pound dollar or the euro dollar, it's about 55 pips. It's a 55 pip target and uh, it works really, really well. But again, you don't get them every day and you don't get them all the time. You just have to wait for it. So I set up my charts with uh, some of them just to identify the continuation breakout trades. And then I have other charts that are just to, con to confirm the setup for the HL30. So you can see I just kind of go on and on and on and I rotate between each one of these different strategies. So it's very, very effective, very, very profitable. And you need to know this if you're considering using the trade copier because these are the types of trades that you're going to get. You're going to be copying my trades and they're going to go right into your funded account during your evaluation or your live account or your own personal live account or even after you get your funded you, you pass your funded challenge you're going to get a live account and you want to continue to copy these trades so i want to show you just how effective these are how profitable they are now one last question that i received today was do i trade during the news it was pretty choppy you know we saw some activity it was kind of interesting watching the pound dollar uh there was some news you know some political um uh, headlines that came out of the UK and the market kind of reacted to that. And sometimes people get kind of afraid to trade it. So they'll ask me, do I trade? Do I trade that? And usually if I get a setup, if it's a technical setup and I can see everything, you know, everything lines up according. In other words, I use the, the phrase, if it's a picture perfect trade, then I'm going to execute. And it's got nothing to do to, to me whether or not it's the news. Like I don't look at the news to tell me how far it's going to go. I watch traders. I watch volume. I watch, you know, the, the accumulation distribution. Very often the accumulation is the buildup of that formation of consolidation for the intended breakout and that markup or markdown phase. And there's got to be, you know, we refer to it as fuel in the tank. There's got to be a substantial amount of time to build up that momentum 
whether it's buying or selling, that demand or supply, whichever direction you're trading it in, and then it'll kind of take off. That's exactly what we're looking for. And it very often will happen and where it takes off with the news. But I am looking at it from a technical perspective so I can protect myself. I know exactly where my stop losses are. I know where my take profits are. And I just simply rinse and repeat for the most part. I hate using that term, but it's like the easiest way to, to say I just basically do the same thing over and over and over again, depending on what strategy that I am using. So again, if you've got any questions about the trade copier, let me know. I'm still running a special on the four month. Uh, for those of you who are on my email list, you've probably seen it. If not, get on the email list. You can go to the website and um, you can sign up for updates. And I do have a special promotion right now. It Again, depending on when you watch this video, if it's like in a month from now, it may be over with. I have a limited number of trade copiers with a special promotion for the four-month plan on my website. If you're interested in it, send me a message and I will reply to it and explain to you exactly what it is or get on the email list by going to my website. And on the performance page, at the very, very top, there's an opportunity for you to uh, opt in with your email and your name to get updates and information like this whenever I do run some kind of a promotion. I don't do it very often and I do run out of trade copier subscriptions sometimes. So uh, please keep that in mind. And I don't know how long I'll be running this promotion. I just have a limited number of trade copiers and uh, it is a very special promotion. You don't want to miss that if you're interested in the trade copier. Thank you for watching.